A teenager has been arrested in Aurora following the shooting death of a 12 year old and injury of another teen. Tonight, 18 year old Rolando is charged with first degree murder and attempted first degree murder. Good evening. I'm Kelly Worthman. Thank you for joining us this Saturday. That shooting happened yesterday afternoon in the 900 block of Zion Street near 6th and Colfax. The 14 year old who was hurt does remain in the hospital, and we've learned he is related to the 12 year old who was killed. Police tell us that shooting did know both of the boys. Michael Labeda is in Aurora tonight. And Michael, we know there's been a lot of violence involving kids and teenagers recently, and that surely has many in that community concerned. That's right, Kelly. This is just the latest in a string of youth-related shootings in the metro area, and a lot of people are wondering what is going on. Well, this is obviously a tragic situation. Where Friday afternoon, two boys were walking down the street in northern Aurora when a car pulled up beside them. Shots were fired from this vehicle, striking the two young boys. In broad daylight, the boys were gunned down. One of them, a 14-year-old, was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. The other boy wasn't so lucky. A 12-year-old boy has tragically died from the injuries from the shooting. Police say scenes like this have become a regular occurrence in the Denver metro area. Youth violence continues to be an issue metro-wide. Um, and and it is it apparent tonight with these two young boys getting shot. There is a definitely increase around the whole United States of America. It Joel Hodge works for the Struggle of Love Foundation. Their goal is to end youth violence. He and his son Tuka say these days all the fuss is over little things. Like small little conversations, it could be a small argument about basketball, anything. And People just taking their anger too far. Arguments and disagreements are nothing new, but Joel says today's youth have a lot on their plates. He says negative influence from music and video games combined with economic oppression, lack of family structure, and societal pressures and woes are pushing our youth to the edge. And so um, that layered onto a baby now and they grow up like this and grow up like this, they're angry. Tuka says he's worried about his peers and saddened for his community. He hopes soon Denver and Aurora's youth will learn to think before they pull a gun and respect each other's lives. Just because you're mad, you don't have to react a certain way off an of impulse decision that you're going to end up regretting too. I hope people know that they, they're going to end up regretting the decision you can make. And that, you know what I'm saying, you, you met, you're going to affect not just that person that you're going to hurt, but you're affecting their uh, family members, you're affecting the whole community. Now, if you are a youth that is struggling or the parent of a youth that is struggling, you can reach out to Struggle of Love. They have resources like a job connection program for youth and mental health counseling for youth so they can talk about what is on their mind. In Aurora, Michael Aveta covering Colorado First. Good